before there was a Central Park, there was Seneca Village. Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video of Elijah Jones. I want to talk to you guys about Central Park. And some of you guys may not know that before there was a Central Park, there was Central, there was Seneca Village. And not many people know this. Not many people know this, but um, Seneca Village was basically a black owned village by a bunch of black folks obviously in the title as i said you know you guys it's gonna say in the title in the title before there was a central city so uh, before there was a central park <laughs> i've been watching a lot of flash a lot of legend a lot of legends of tomorrow and green arrow there's so many other comic shows <laughs> but before there was um central park there was a black neighborhood, a black village named Seneca Village. You should definitely do your research. I'll definitely have the pictures as my little intro comes in. So, yeah. So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, this is a great discussion that many people should talk about because, obviously, we're still in a... I guess you could say a war, I mean, even though it's protesting, but it's technically a war against against white people and black people and so many other different races that are with the black culture and stuff like that. So, so let's talk about it. Central Park, white owned. <laughs> so, obviously, as, we, as we're in this particular moment and as, as we're in this particular time of history, because this is going to go down in books, I, I'm praying that people will be talking about this in the next 20 years from now. Obviously, I'll be 44 years old in the next 20 years, you know, so, so yeah. <laughs> Will I be 20, 44 years old? Oh, anyway, I might be wrong. Anyway, but all I know is this, that we were, us black folks, we had our own village that eventually could have been a park today which is kind of crazy i never knew this a friend of mine i'm gonna give you, gonna give you two ladies a shout out my a friend of mine named lanye and i was on the phone and i was on, we were, we were on a three-way chat my friend lanye and jabria um we she was like you know she was spitting facts my girl lanye and i and i love you for that thank you and and um and i never knew that i looked it up and i was like oh snap i was like White people have been taking stuff from us for centuries. And the reason why the reason why many people don't really know about Seneca Village was because it's not I mean I don't think it's in the I don't think it's in the textbooks. No. Cause like if you really think about it, if you go to the library, majority of those books are basically white writers. Pretty much. Not saying for nothing. Not saying that, you know, we don't have any black authors and black writers. And, and we do. But majority of the world is basically white owned. Sad to say, you know. Um, and it, it, it kind of, it, it's kind of really messy because it's like, how come so many... I just don't get it. Like, how come not many people... I never, I, I never knew that... Central Park, like before there was a Central Central Park, there was Seneca Village. And it was from, it was built up in 1840, 18, oh God, I don't even know what year it was, oh God, I, I think it was like 1840, 1890s, or something, it was in the 1800s. And then it got torn down like late in the late, in the late 1800s, of course. 
it tore down in 1847. Yes. And, and then 1840, I'm going to say about a year later, 1848, Century Park was born. So the famous Century Park that everyone knows, I mean, everyone knows Century Parks. <laughs> it's kind of sad to say, <clears throat> but majority of people who live in New York know about Century Park, and many people who don't know about Central Park, they probably heard of it through the TV show Friends, which is all white. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm very guilty. I love that show. I know many of you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like really, Elijah? Don't get me wrong. I love I love my black TV shows. I love Living Single. I love Martin. I love Moesha. I love the Parkers. I love the Cosby Show. I love oh my God! I love the Jeffersons and to name a few. Um, oh my God, there's there's so many black TV shows that it's it's incredible. But believe it or not, if you really think about it like this, though. Black television, they came out in the mid seventies. I know I'm getting all a little bit off talking, but just a little, just a little history, a little TV history. Black people, black actresses and actors have been on television since 1975 for literally a little over, almost a little bit over um, 50 years. I mean, yeah, like a little bit over 50 years now. So us black folks, we have been entertaining you white folks for almost 50 years now, almost. And that should tell you guys something. But at the same time, um, at the same time, on these black TV shows, there was white people writing scripts for black people. There wasn't really a whole lot of black writers, like I said, like for TV shows until until the 90s i want to say the 80s guys but i want to say like we didn't start black people didn't start getting any type of recognition until the 90s 2000s which is kind of late you know but at least we at least we made us you know at least we made us you know a staple you know a stamp for 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 you know for for the tv hit for for the tv histories and stuff like for the tv culture but anyway back to Seneca village but it's a little tv history but anyway so, Seneca Village was a black black neighborhood that was owned by, obviously, it was a black neighborhood. I'm assuming it was owned by a bunch of black folks. And and we, us, we as black people, we are, we are so, we are so great, we are so gracious, and we are so humbled. It, 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 it kills me, because we literally had a village, and... And we basically got it stolen from us by a bunch of white people. And and the sad part about it is white people do not give any of us credit. Because it's like, how come... I mean, I'm pretty sure other people knew about Seneca Village and stuff like that. But I never knew this. You know, because I was taught by a bunch of white people in school. You know, white people have been controlling basically everything for centuries you know i don't want to you know sound like a, a, you know a couple, you know like, you know i'm not trying to badge white people but it's like in a way it, you guys don't make yourselves look good because it's like you literally been hiding history from us for decades like come on now like before like before there was central park there was Seneca Village. What the hell? Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, how can you hide almost an entire century of history from our own kind? That makes you guys look so selfish. <laughs> like, and, 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 this, and this is one of the reasons why we're in a war right now. Because, like, you guys want to be complete assholes and selfish towards us. And I mean, I know I'm getting off the topic again, but it's like as I said in my last video, you know, about 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 the whole caring and slap. But it's like if you really if you really dig deep into our history, we were slaves. Black folks, my ancestors, and so many other black people's ancestors were slaves. We were bought and we were brought to America by a bunch of white people. And I was reading something. I was reading something. 
And this is why I'm not really a big fan of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, but I was reading something and it made a lot of freaking sense. <laughs> like, I, as I said before, the Jeffersons, right? Thomas Jefferson, obviously, I mean, I know that's a TV show, but like, basically what I'm trying to incorporate is this. I'm going to make sure I explain it and, 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 and leave, leave it like that. Basically, what I'm trying to explain is this. George Washington had a bunch of slaves. Why do, if you ever notice, why do most black folks have the last name Washington? Because back in slavery time, most, you know, obviously we didn't have any control over our own lives because, you know, we were we were basically maids. We we picked cotton. We we basically raised white people's children. We got raped, sad to say. The women the poor black women got raped by a by, by their master. And and also they were uneducated, you know? And also white people basically gave us the religion of Christianity. If you don't really you know so there's, there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of wrong things about my, what white folks have done. They 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 they, they, did, they didn't give us the right education. They gave us their last name because we wasn't in control of our lives. And on top of it, and on top of it, they raped our black sisters. You know, they raped the women. And on top of it, the women had to raise their own kids. <laughs> like. Seriously? So you, you hold on, you hold on to that one, you know. Like I said, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and there's so many black folks that have the last name Washington. There's so many black folks that have the last name Jefferson. <laughs> the, you know, like what the hell? Seriously? Come on now. You know, that's not, that's not fair. That's not fair on our part. Like, how can, personally, no offense to anyone who has the last name Washington or Jefferson. I mean, like, if you guys want to, you know, keep your, keep your little white slave name, no offense. I mean, technically, it is a slave name because you, you were literally, you know, given, like, you, your family ancestors were, were given the last name, you know, sad to say, you know. So, but my, but anyway, but I just, I, I got off topic with the whole Seneca thing, but I'm just like, I want to let you guys know that you guys should definitely do your research on Seneca Village because it will be a huge step up on the history because like, this is actually kind of interesting. Like, you know, like why, like what, like what was the whole point of white folks stealing from us, making, making a village that could have been a park you know, our own part, you know, that I would have been proud to say, like, oh, you know, like, like, did you know that this is a black-owned park, you know? The name would have been kind of weird. Sen Let's go to Seneca Village. <laughs> Let's go Seneca Village Park. <laughs> I mean, it, it could have, it could have worked, you know, but, but you never know, you know? It, it could have worked if it, if black folks would, would, you know, didn't get run down by a bunch of white people, you know, it would have worked, but... I will never ever look at Central Park the same. Ever. So, this is a this is my this is my little my little outro. I want to let you guys know. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed evening. I always love you and may God bless you and peace. Out.